ਸਸਕੁਐਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਸਕਾਟ ਮੋਏ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪੱਤਰਕਾਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇਸ਼ ਭਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੱਧ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਗੈਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਕੀਮਤਾਂ ਤੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਚਰਚਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਉਤੇ ਰੂਸ ਦੇ ਹਮਲੇ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਲਗਾਈਆਂ ਪਾਬੰਦੀਆਂ ਅਤੇ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ 2022 ਆਗਾਮੀ ਬਜਟ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਸੂਬਾਈ ਈਧਨ ਟੈਕਸ ਨੂੰ ਖਤਮ ਕਰਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਲਬਰਟਾ ਦੀ ਪਾਲਣ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਯੋਜਨਾ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕੀਤੀ Yes uh, we we have been giving some thought as to you know what we will do in the you know in weeks and and months ahead uh, understanding that um you know we're seeing uh, price of fuel increase and other uh, cost of living metrics that are are increasing uh in part due to uh the world starting to find its way through covid in part due to conflict the conflict that we see with russia invading uh ukraine uh so most certainly uh, we we are starting to have these discussions as to you know what we would do if there was potential revenues uh increases in particular revenue increases uh, due to the price of oil uh, we see what's happening in alberta uh, a province that's much more uh, reliant on uh, fluctuations in the price of oil as far as their provincial budget is we're much more diversified uh, uh much we have a much more diversified economy here uh, in in Saskatchewan so understanding that it is temporary that we do have a a a much lar- much larger uh, we have much larger diversity in our economy in Saskatchewan uh, we are looking at you know what would potentially this look like so uh, looking at things like debt repayment uh, operating debt that this province has due to covid we've invested close to 3 billion dollars in supporting Saskatchewan people over the course of the past 2 years uh, through this this global pandemic um, looking at what uh, and and we have an operating debt that we inherited quite frankly from the NDP a number of years ago that is still in existence um looking at you know should we uh, be looking at if there's a significant amount of of revenue here uh, a save moving on some type of savings account on behalf of the people of the province but also thirdly looking at you know is there an opportunity for us understanding this is the people of Saskatchewan's resource uh, to look at a way to return uh, some of that directly to the people of Saskatchewan in in some way and so we're in the early stages of looking at that uh, likely at a different level than maybe a, a province like Alberta that is largely dependent on uh, fluctuations in the energy uh, industry in the oil price uh, per se but i would just go on to say that you know what we are seeing uh, occur in in Ukraine Russia relationship with uh, other countries that purchase from Russia uh, this is a very important conversation for us to have in Canada and for us to have in North America around um, our energy security our continental energy security our continental food security and ultimately our our economic sovereignty we need to take care of ourselves we still import oil from other areas of the world including Russia into uh, Canada that needs to stop and we need to look at how we are going to provide some of the most sustainable oil in the world which is produced right here in Saskatchewan uh, how we're going to provide that to other Canadians and how we're going to provide that to other uh, people across North America to provide that continental energy security so that we don't find ourselves in the perplexing situation that we see other countries in today uh, a little bit higher level comment on uh, Evrazin and other uh, you know areas where uh you know russian oligarchs will actually intersect with uh, what our our north american economy uh much more so in in other countries around the world um there are impacts um when when canada or canada and the us start to uh, put sanctions in now uh, those sanctions that are targeted at having a maximum effect on on Russia uh, so that they back down on their unauthorized and, and quite frankly um uh, quite egregious uh um invasion of Ukraine and totally unnecessary invasion of Ukraine that's what those sanctions are are focused at um with all of those sanctions there are consequences there's consequences in Canada uh, for example we see uh, the energy price starting to rise we see other um cost of living uh, metrics that are starting to rise and we're looking very closely at that uh, as a government um to move on uh you know major employers that employ uh, Saskatchewan and Canadian people uh, that's a different level of conversation that's one that i think our minister of trade and export uh, would ultimately uh, be having and I'm, i don't know that that's happened at this point in time uh the sanctions have not uh, targeted uh, someone like ever as at this point in time um, but that conversation would be happening uh, at that level uh, ultimately in the days ahead listen